I like to wait for the new arms here again at Paris Hill. Doing a video of the murals on the walls here again. This was done by Christopher R. L. Chandler. As I said before, it was done in the late 90s by residents from the area. But then the finishing touch was done by Christopher R. L. Chandler. So these paintings were done mostly in the late 90s. This is about the St. Anne's Church via Paris Hill itself. Here we hill on Lamings. And this way about the Andrews factory, you know the front Andrews to the factory, which closed down in 2030 under the last government. This way about the St. Anne's Anglican Church, and about the St. Anne's Primary School, where my mother went to school. St. Anne's Primary School closed down in 1985 and it will also lead back to Paris Hill, Airy Hill and Lamings and Sugar Hill and back to the St. Bernard's Primary School. Some more murals here engraved in the cut rock. This beach house is with the white for the green gate. Yeah, the green thing is was a hub, was also a shop years ago. All the murals and grave and the cut rock. Here. So again, this way to Bathsheba, uh, back to the east coast of Barbados, Bathsheba, and back to Horse Hill, straight to another steep hill in Barbados, Horse Hill, which had to be cut down or leveled down sometime in the late. 80s, early 90s, when Dame Mayor Zibarkovic was a member of parliament for St. Joseph. She had to get the car to uh, level down because it used to give vehicles over lakes when they're coming out of Bashiba. Horsell is immediately when we go up here and we pass to Granny Adams School, which was once West St. Joseph. Then we will be heading to, getting into Horsell on your way to Bashiba. And this way we also lead back to Banchbury and Coffee Gully, where my mother is from, and Banchbury. My mother, one of my aunts, and two uncles are from Batchbury, and they went to school up in here at St. Anne's. These are the new ones. Passing here on the way to Bathsheba, which is on the east coast. So, one last look at these murals for her down the road, the detail of the parasail project here, which was done by Christopher R. L. Chandler and plastered by W.D. Blanche and Company. And the list of sponsors are down below.
see the St. George Valley. This is really the valley of the parish of St. George. And this is the garden dedicated to the late Burton Burtonaires, which is also who, who was also a relative of mine. Back up. Good Head down to Andrews Factory. Come back up at the paintings. You see the Anzo's factory, which is now close to the grinding of sugarcane because of under the last government, they had to close it because they closed it down because they wanted it to become a multi purpose factory. So I believe that that would be dealing with sugarcane and other produce, but that plan did not work out. So that's why it is here now with a high white fence surrounding it to keep away trespasses. Come back up to the paintings at Parasu. And again, I'm to the east of the island. I'm to the eastern side of the island at the moment. That's the smallest parish. Scotland the street of Barbados. And this tenantry to here. This is Andrew's factory. The two of them here now will be leading you back to the parish of St. George. The sweet bottom, sweet veil area. Golden Ridge. And back to um, and back to Market Hill, all in St. George. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.